Hi, Chanel from Tips and Tricks HQ here and in this tutorial I'll be demonstrating how one can use the WP Braintree plugin found on WordPress.org to accept payments for goods and services online via the Braintree Payment Gateway. For those who are not familiar with Braintree, it is one of the leading payment gateways which in fact was acquired by PayPal during 2013. It allows you to accept credit card payments, PayPal payments, as well as many other local payment methods. Using Braintree can increase conversion on your website by allowing your customers to pay using a selection of popular payment methods. WP Braintree is a free and compact plugin that can be installed directly from your WordPress website. You'll need to have a Braintree account or if you're only testing, a Sandbox account will work just fine for now. You'll also need to have access to the account as we'll need our Braintree API details further along in the tutorial. I've arrived at my WordPress dashboard where I'd like to show you how you can install and activate the WP Braintree plugin without needing to leave your site. So if you go to plugins and you go to add new, simply come over to the search bar and search something similar to WP Braintree. Once you search that, it will usually be the second one that comes up and you can know it's our one because it'll say by tips and tricks HQ there. You can just click there and it'll have the option to install now and then activate. So then once you click that activate button, you'll notice that the WP Braintree menu pops up on the sidebar. So if I click on my WP Braintree menu, I can see that I've currently got no payments. This is because I haven't yet created a WP Braintree product. Before we go ahead and we create our first WP Braintree product, we'll need to copy and paste in our Braintree API keys as mentioned earlier. So you'll need to log into your Braintree account and you'll need to copy those API details and paste them into the correct fields. So if we go ahead and we click on the settings menu, you'll need to paste those API keys into here. So you'll need to paste in your merchant ID, your public key and your private key. Once you've pasted them in the corresponding fields, click the save changes button. Once you've gone ahead and you've copied and pasted in your API keys, they may either be your test or your live keys, you'll need to click the options menu. So after you've clicked on that options menu, it's the second tab along. If you're running it in sandbox mode, which would be your test API keys, you'll need to mark this little checkbox here. So for the purpose of this tutorial, I'll just be running it with my test API details. So I've gone ahead and I've marked that checkbox. You can also have a return URL. So this is a page that your customers will be sent to after a successful purchase of a product or service on your website. So I've left mine blank for now. So if you leave yours blank after a successful purchase, your customer will be redirected to the home page. If you've got a nice thank you page, you can simply copy the URL of that page and paste it into this field here. You can choose a jQuery theme if you wish to. For this one, I'll just go up. And I'll just go with smoothness. So I'll show you what that looks like when I've completed mine. Then you can go ahead and you can click save changes. So that's the basic setup of the WP Braintree plugin completed. Now we'll go ahead and we'll create a product. The way products are created with the WP Braintree plugin is through a basic short code. So you can copy and paste a short code from the Tips and Tricks HQ website or you can use the short code inserter. I'll be showing you just how to use the copy and paste method but feel free to use the shortcode inserter. So you'll just need to go up and you can choose to create a page or a post where you'll display your product and a buy now button. So I'll be creating a page, add new, and I can add a title and some descriptive text about the product I'll be selling. Now I'll just add what my product is. You can even add the price here if you wanna state that just so the person knows before they click that buy now button because otherwise if you don't have the price there, it will just show a buy now button and it's up to the customer if they wanna click that buy now button to check out the price. So sometimes stating the price above the buy now button can work in your favor. You can even add a little image if you'd like of the product. So I'll just be using one I've already got in my media library. Select that and I've put that in. So then you'll need to add a new block, which is where we're gonna put in the short code. So mine's under most used as I've recently used that short code block, but if you haven't used it before, scroll down, click on widgets and you'll see that short code block there. Simply click on that. Now in this little field here is where we're going to paste our short code for the product. 
So this can be found on the Tips and Tricks HQ website. So once you've copied that short code from the Tips and Tricks HQ website, simply just paste that into that field. So it's WP underscore Braintree underscore button item underscore name equals, and that's where you'll put in the name of your item. So just backspace that, and you can put in any name of your item. So I'll be selling a French Bulldog mark, and then item underscore amount equals, and then in those brackets is where you'll put your price. So it's $19.95 just there, so I'll just backspace the one, as my product's going to be $9.95. So now that I've added that in, I've completed my product, and I can publish or I can save it as a draft. So I'll publish that out. This is just a test product as I configured in the settings. So I'll go ahead and I'll view that page. So I'm on my page where I've got the mug for sale and I've got my nice little Braintree buy now button. If a customer came onto my website and clicked that buy now button, they could scroll down, put in their name, email, a card number, expiration and CVV and click buy now and they could complete a successful purchase of that mug. So as you can see, it's quite simple for your customer to enter those details and purchase from the product page. The great thing about this is they don't have to leave your website, they just scroll down and enter their card details. You may now be wondering how you can complete a test checkout of your Braintree product. This is great as it shows you what the customer's checkout will feel and look like. So you can choose any of the test card numbers found on the Braintree website. Make sure that your site's in test mode with your sandbox API details. Then if you come to the front end, you need to enter in a name, an email, the card number, you could copy and paste from Braintree's website, expiration, anything in the future, and the CVV three numbers. Then you can click the buy now button and complete a test checkout. So I'll go ahead now and briefly show you how that's done. I'm just pasting a test MasterCard number, expiration, anything in the future, CVV, three numbers, followed by clicking that buy now button to complete the test checkout. And congratulations, I've completed a successful test checkout on my website. I've now returned to my WordPress dashboard where I'd like to show you one last thing before I wrap up this tutorial on the WP Braintree plugin. So if you go to WP Braintree and then click on the payments menu, it'll bring you back to this page here. I showed you this at the start and we didn't have any payments in here. Now I've gone ahead and I've completed two test transactions and now these are listed here. So I can go and click on one further to see more details about that transaction. So if I scroll down, it tells me the amount paid, it tells me what I've sold, the order ID, transaction ID, when the payment was made and the customer's details. So this is great if you're selling a digital item or you need to ship out an item. So you can find out more details on how you can sell a digital item on the Tips and Tricks website and you can find out how you can even have a custom buy now button. So if I wanted it to say pay now, I can change that as well by adding an extra short code parameter. So you can find out more about that on the Tips and Tricks HQ website, or feel free to just fill in a contact form and ask us any questions you may have about this plugin. So thanks very much for watching this tutorial on WP Braintree by Tips and Tricks HQ. All the best in using Braintree to sell goods and services on your website.